So it's probably best if I put a beanie on because my best video so far on this channel was one in which I was wearing this beanie. So, yep. Hello there, lads, and welcome to my channel. My name is Gianmarco Maioli, and today we are back with a video, and it's been a very long time. So this is just a small introduction before the actual video, um, because I want to thank you for reaching 200 subscribers on this channel. It is a magnificent uh, achievement for me, <laughs> and I know it's still it's not a huge number, but for me it still is, to be honest. And yeah, I'm, I'm really surprised and happy by the feedback from uh, the video about Prague. I'm really happy because I, <laughs> I shot it last year and I've only uploaded it this year. So <laughs> uh, for some reason I thought it would have not um, worked out. But anyways, since the Formula One uh, World Championship has wrapped up in Abu Dhabi a week ago or so, um, I think it's the best time to, to talk about, <laughs> I mean, it's probably the best time to <laughs> talk about when I went to Imola to see the spring qualifying, not the actual Grand Prix, not the Sunday race, but the Saturday race, um, given the new format for Formula One. And yeah, I went back in April to uh, Imola, which is in Emilia-Romagna, uh, it's just one hour away from Florence probably one hour and a half, but still quite close. And managed to get some tickets thanks to uh, a friend of a friend. So I'm really uh, glad that they uh, helped me in finding these tickets. They were also quite cheap, which is unusual for Formula One, because I know, for example, in Monza, the tickets are quite expensive. And since it was an incredible occasion, because it was my first time seeing uh, some Formula One cars live, I decided to bring with me my old and not really reliable Canon 81 and instead of bringing with me the Nifty 50 from, from Canon, I decided to bring this lens, which is a 135mm uh, Canon FD, uh, the 2.8 uh, version. It's a lens that I bought because I was planning to uh, shoot a project with this lens, but in the end that idea uh, simply wasn't working anymore in my mind. So yeah, I ended up having this lens without an actual purpose. And I was about to resell this lens because I wasn't using it until I finally found a purpose for it, which was to shoot the Formula One cars uh, at the event. Unfortunately, my Canon wasn't serviced yet and is still not serviced to be honest. So. I'm not really sure if it, if it is um, shutter sticking or simply light leaks, uh, but I'm going to service it in the next few weeks because I'm planning a few a few trips and I need this camera to be to be ready for those trips. So you'll notice in this video that the pictures still have uh, major light leaks on some of them, um, and I hope you do not mind. Uh, I wasn't really happy to see those light leaks once I got the the film back. I'm still incredibly happy that I had the opportunity to, to see Formula One cars live and and I think that some of these pictures are still enjoyable. They are not of course the best because with this old technology you cannot exactly get the the perfect result. And also from, from the point I was standing uh, throughout the entire event it wasn't exactly easy due to the fences and the many people attending the event. It wasn't exactly easy to take the best pictures of, of the cars passing by. And there are also Formula One cars. It's not very easy to shoot a Formula One car on uh, a medium such as a film camera. But I, I think some of these pictures are, are still acceptable. And yeah, I hope you, you enjoy them. This is just going to be the end of this introduction. So I hope you enjoy the video. Please leave a like, subscribe if you're willing to and see you next time. Enjoy your life.
Madrid, Madrid. 